Happy New Year, everyone. 2016 has arrived and it's going to be quite a year this year. Let's take a look at your January alchemy scopes. You are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone. So here we are, the beginning of 2016. And as I do every month, let's go ahead and look at the macro cycle, the energy set, the storyline that's underpinning this cycle for all of us. To do that, I tap into the Sabian symbol that's imbued at the degree point at which our Capricorn new moon on January 9th occurred. It happened at 19 degrees, 13 minutes. And the Sabian symbol for this new moon point, this portal point, was a hidden choir is singing during a religious service. Interesting, because we are so close to the holiday season that this would be the symbol. But more so is the fact that it's a hidden choir. So during the course of this next month, for me, what this is speaking to is that in the background, out of sight, is a harmonic that is playing out. There is something synchronistic and networked and harmonic that is happening. And in fact, a lot of you might be feeling that. So let's move on now to the micro cycles. We'll go to the I Ching and take a look at the micro cycle that's going on for the individual signs. Gemini, so let's take a look at the energetic theme or the micro cycle for Gemini centric people over the course of this new moon cycle. You received the I Ching hexagram number seven organized discipline and the two trigrams that make up this hexagram are earth above, water below. Discipline is symbolized by the element of water under the earth. Water here is represented as a resource that is available to use but hidden deep from view. This is about something vital existing that requires effort to access it, a potential that exists within that can be drawn upon in times of need. Once it is accessed and applied, great things can be accomplished by means of organized discipline. If you hold or aspire to a position of leadership, Remember that the true leader connects from within via the heart and articulates a clear, simple vision that binds people together. If you hold or aspire to a position of leadership, remember that the true leader connects from within via the heart and articulates a clear, simple vision that binds people together. Gemini, welcome to your spreads for the January 9th Capricorn New Moon Cycle. So let's go ahead and get started. I have shuffled. We're going to do the synchronic spread to pull up the primary growth edge, the event, circumstance, or situation that's likely to be coming forward for at least the majority of really awakening Gemini-centric scope people. And I have some new beautiful decks. I'm going to be using Colette Baron reeds Enchanted Map deck to um, pull up, uh, a, you know, kind of an additional theme that's going to tie into the spread. And inherently within that, there's guidance for the month for you. And then I have wonderful Vicki Verley's uh, Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards, which I'll pull... A few have you tune in, and that one will be um, the archetypal qualities that wish to be evolved through you during this scope cycle. So let's take a look, Gemini, see what's happening. Okay, 
All right. So there's some, the central message for many of you has to do with some resistance going on. It could be health related. And what you see is preventing you from actualizing some something new for you, something that would support you. So Gemini, the central theme, at least for, this is a general reading, of course, but it could be that the storied unfolding for Gemini-centric people is that you're feeling resistance or you're feeling a stuckness. You're feeling like things aren't flowing as quickly as you would like them to, okay? And you're considering support, you're considering or you're uncertain about levels of support in your reality. Now this came up in the spiritual sector of this spread. So it could be that for some of you, you're, it could be for some of you that you're questioning um, how you're held spiritually, how well or not well you're hearing your higher self and your guidance. Um, how well or not well you're tapping into the immaterial realities of life. You do want new birth, though. You do want it. Your intention, Gemini, your intention. Keep in mind, this is a reminder. This is my own personal deck, my own 144-card deck that I use for my own purposes. So the images are certainly not going to resonate for everybody. But your intention, Gemini, strongly during the cycle is about emergence, new birth, new growth for you, what you are generating for yourself, what you want to see come to pass, what you want to birth for yourself. And you're discovering things. So you're in a state, you're thinking about these two cards came up in the mental sector. So your mind over the course of the cycle is on, you know, discovery, new information coming in, new ideas, new insights about what is activating your intentions, meaning you're starting to tap into new information that's generating new intentions for you or that's feeding your existing intentions for your life. And you might find that, wow, you know, I want these things and it feels hard. It feels difficult. It feels like things aren't supporting me. It feels like I'm not supported. That's what this is about. So for some of you, not all of you, some of you out there are going to be feeling like, I am not, I don't feel supported. What's happening? Why is there resistance? Why is there resistance? Now, emotionally, I mean, emotionally, hopefully, for many of you, you're going to be tapping into lightness, humor, laughter, joy for your own health, that you're going to feel a lightness within your emotional body. This came, these all came up in the emotional sector. So it could be that during this cycle, despite the difficulty or despite the fact that you don't feel supported or that you're feeling like there's resistance from other people, there's resistance that life is giving you that is preventing optimal flow and your intentions to become reality. It might be that for some of you, you are accessing some joy, maybe having fun, maybe going out gathering for with friends or going to parties or actually accessing your lightness of being during the course of what feels like kind of a heavy time. Um, and it also could be that you're feeling like I don't remember which was first, but it doesn't really matter. Um, it also could be feeling like, Gemini, that you're, you're realizing that you need more humor, that you need more humor for your own emotional health and well-being. Now, what I will say, what I will say is that any resistance that you're feeling at this time, any resistance that you're perceiving at this time and experiencing at this time is an indication 
that you are not going with the flow, that you're not connected to your natural impetus, your natural flow, with, <coughs> excuse me, with your intentions, with your natural soul's intentions and the, the guidance to push you forward. And you're not moving with that flow. Nature always works in least effort. Anytime we feel or experience resistance, that we're perceiving resistance, it's a matter of us somehow not following our own flow. That's all it is. And so we're resisting life. We're resisting our experiences, the circumstances, the relationships, the difficulties. We're resisting it and pushing it back. But I have to tell you, all those things are functional. They're showing you something that is guiding you to flow in a new direction. So let it serve. Stop resisting. Life is, and the isness has function. So I really, I really guide you to not stop resisting. You can choose to not resist. Okay. So Gemini, let's move on to the other cards because that will bring more information about this spread. Know also that you are supported, that actually life inherently supports. It just inherently does. So you are supported, even though you might not perceive it that way. This is beautiful, wonderful Vicki Verley's um, uh, Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards. And uh, they're new to my little collection. And we're going to go ahead and pull three, Gemini. And please tune in to one. There's two. Let's pull one more. Gemini. Beautiful. Okay. Those were, those were very, uh, I don't know, loud is what I would say. Those really wanted to come for you, okay? So to go ahead, Gemini, and tune in if you would. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle and pull the another aspect of your month, as well as the guidance that's inherent. And this is uh, Enchanted Map by Colette Baron reed Beautiful. Let's see what this is. Now, this came up reversed for you. 27 home. 27 home. So, Gemini, let me read it here. This came up reversed for you. Let's see what uh, Colette says here. Okay. So the meaning in the card in general, Gemini, is you are comfortable in your own skin. You belong. All right. So when it's reversed, if you don't feel at home, it's time to do a thorough and fearless inventory. What are you hiding from? Are you afraid of being yourself? Do you feel that you don't belong where you are? What if you choose another path? Does your understanding of home perhaps indicate, excuse me, does your understanding of home perhaps dictate that such a place must be unsafe, unstable, or unfulfilling? It's time to love yourself and create a new sense of safety and security within. You might have chosen a situation that is familiar and led you back to the original source of your pain. No matter, because this is an important and powerful invitation to a new you. Say no to the pain of the past. Say no to the voice of your inner critic. No to those who want to dim your light and make themselves brighter. Choose a new home. Take refuge in knowing that beauty and a true sense of belonging lie ahead. Gemini, that feels very powerful for you. Love that for you. This is about finding your resonance. Going when you find when you tune into what brings you bliss, what brings you peace, what brings you joy, 
what gives you excitement, that is your compass. That is the compass for movement forward. That is the compass telling you which direction to take, what step to take. That's all it is. So emotions serve great function. It is our compass. So let's see what you've tuned into here. One of these cards. Now, beautiful. So if you've picked the far left card, Gemini, the qualities of grasshopper are asking to be evolved through you during this cycle. Now, grasshopper, health, blessings, fertility, the gift of song, inspired creations, reveal your true spirit, reincarnation, discovering your soul path, advancement by leaps and bounds. You know, uh, Gemini, before I move on to the other two cards, I want to uh, remind a lot of you, if you don't know, I am offering a really spectacular deal um, this month through the end of January. For any clients out there who order their 2016 forecast and guidance, this is about your personal evolutionary story that's unfolding over the course of this 2016 cycle. I am gifting, I am offering a gift of providing you with your archetypal profile, which identifies the archetypal imprints, your encodings of your distinct soul print. And that's a $44 value. So for those interested, you can find the information, uh, the link below this video. Gemini, if you picked the center card, Peacock is asking to be evolved through you. The qualities that is Peacock. And this is about flamboyance, elegance, a sense of pride, sacredness. This is about death and resurrection, immortality. It is the phoenix rising. It's about adding color to your personal style. The spotlight is on you. Strut your stuff. So this is definitely about stepping into your own vibration and letting it shine out to the world. Beautiful. And Gemini, if you pick the far right card, Ladybug, a note to tune into the imagery. I know that Vicky created the imagery, uh, even though it's simple imagery, there's uh, details in the form and the coloration various nuances that have meaning. So if you pick Ladybug, this is about the lucky lady of the garden. Uh, it's uh, Ladybugs are a harbinger of happiness and joy. Rid my life of obstacles that are destructive to my divine right to flourish, Gemini. This is about resonance. It's the harbinger of happiness and joy. So this is about tapping into your joy, tapping into your resonant self. I'm very, it's similar. There's a, there's a thread of familiarity throughout all of these for what we're talking about with the spread and what we're talking about with home. It's about resonance. You're, you're tapping into your true joy. I love this. Rid my life of obstacles that are destructive to my divine right to flourish. Your natural essence flourishes. Your natural essence is about uh, joy. Abundant flow, ever evolving. And that's your core self. That's what it's all about. Wow. Love this for you, Gemini. Let's move on to your Dakini and see what's coming up for you there. Gemini and Capricorn. So I am recording this final component of your alchemy scope together because you both received the same Dakini, the same goddess that is coming forward to reflect the embodiment. Who are you to become this month? What quality set are you to imbue in order to flow through this particular cycle with least effort and optimal flow? You both received number 47, Mystere. 
Uh, this is from Penny Slinger's 64 Dakini Oracle. And Penny writes this, In the hot desert, she arouses with the fire in the earthly temple of the body, so that the body may be revealed anew. I am going to read two components here, as I've done in previous months, from Penny's information on Mystere for you. The first is the Dakini transmission, and the second is the affirmation. The transmission, Gemini and Capricorn, for you is this. I am the mystery. In the eyes that gaze from behind the veil, here to amaze as I reveal what is concealed in your imagination and I offer you initiation. The affirmation for Mystere for both of you is this. All mystery lies within me. I have access. By removing the veils that obscure my inner divine feminine. All mystery lies within me. I have access by removing the veils that obscure my inner divine feminine. I wish you both a beautiful month ahead. It's a reminder that I am having a really phenomenal a gift offering happening for everybody during the month of January 2016 in order to catapult people into their knowing, their wisdom, the identification of their encodings so that alignment can become a natural process for you over the course of this year. I am offering the archetypal profile for free, a free offering, typically $44. When you order your 2016 forecast and guidance, which is a tremendous session, it's a 90 minute session uh, that goes over your astrological solar return, your transits, we pull up your symbology and I pull up a spread for you. And there's also guidance cards as well. It's quite a deal. <laughs> You can, you're not gonna find a better deal anywhere, I don't think. So if you are committed to yourself, your journey into inner knowing, understanding your archetypal threads, your storylines, your trajectories, getting aligned, moving forward, catapulting forward in your life, I recommend connecting with the archetypal stories that live within and certainly getting connected to what is the trajectory that's unfolding for you during the year 2016. So all the links are below and there'll probably be links on this video as well. So I invite you to be in contact and place your order soon so that we can get you scheduled. Have a wonderful month. Bye.